Everybody's here. See? Kids these days are really lacking education. Read one of your latest tweets. Do you think it's hard for people to not react emotionally to a friend's lost loved one because they have an emotional connection to them? Objectivity is hard when you care about someone. Do you think it's harder for people to not react emotionally when you're talking to a loved one? Uh, yeah, I think for the average person, if they're like a super loved one, I think most people feel obligated to appeal to their emotions, right? And be like extra nice and give emotional support because that's like the nice thing to do, right? Is that what you're asking? So people, sometimes people, it depends how close you are. Like everybody's different, of course. Maybe on average, people typically delay the criticism and give emotional support. Is that what you mean? Why do you keep playing PUBG? Uh, it's, it's still fun sometimes. I took a break from PUBG for a while, so. I'm not really that burnt out. When it comes to controversial opinions, especially, you're probably more emotionally vulnerable to someone. So it seems natural that a difference of opinion could come between people. Wait. Okay, do you mean like if you have a controversial opinion and you present it to your friend, they're going to get more emotional because they care more about you and you like they want you to think the same thing they think. So if you have if you disagree with them on a subject, they're going to get upset with you. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, well, I think when people become really close friends, you should be able to say what your differing opinions, you know? But like, if you're just like kind of good friends and you don't really debate stuff that often, then you're going to be less likely to share your opinions, your controversial ideas, because you don't want to lose that friend, you know? But if it's like, if they've been like your friend since childhood, you've withstood the test of time and, and you're kind of past that point where you're scared to, to share your true ideas because you're like, oh, I can tell this person anything, you know? That's what a good friend is like, right? But I think, especially today, I don't know, if you meet a lot of friends on the internet, you're like, some people don't share their, their like true ideas or they hold back because they're afraid of social consequences so they just try to agree to avoid confrontation or they just agree with whatever the majority is do you think social media amplifies yeah 100 percent. oh my gosh fee to play thank you so much for the 30 gifts whoa thank you for the support i think social media 100 percent amplifies that effect because nowadays with social media we're we can constantly, we con we feel more attached to our friends and even people who we are friends with. So because we feel more attached, we're like, what the, wait, is this a bot? Oh my gosh, what the, he's nading me. So with social media, we can constantly see what our friends are doing. So their ideas about us and the anxiety that comes or the consequences that comes from those ideas, like if they disagree with something, I, th I think you're more conscious about what you do or say because people are way more connected in this day because of technology. I was actually thinking about this before when I was taking a break from streaming. I was thinking about how we're way more worried about what people think these days. Okay, especially as a streamer, because literally my whole job or streamers, their whole job is about social media and about what people think of them and how, and if they like them or not, right? That's the whole job. So especially for a streamer, They're, they're just constantly thinking about what other people are thinking, right? So yeah, social media definitely amplifies that. I think you are connected to more people with social media, but the connections are not as deep. Yeah, depends. Well, you're also connected to your friends too, 
facts. I hold your future in my perception of you. Let me always know that. <laughs> sure, if I was like, if I conformed to social consequences and social pressure, you would. I consider what other people are thinking, but I just believe that people have a reason for coming to believe what they believe. And I respect that, Roshi. <laughs> Fortunately, not always reciprocated. People have a reason. Yeah, so what well, Rosie saying, people have good justification for their beliefs and why they believe something. So why not respect those beliefs is what Rosie's trying to say, I think. Though people, I think it's better to say people think they have good justification for believing things because when people believe things, like they're so sure of themselves, at least if you have a big ego. So it's like, you should still be open to other ideas because a lot of people just, I feel like a lot of people start believing something and then they think that's like an objective truth. But you should always be open to hearing differing, like a difference in ideas or perspectives because you might hear a better one and you might be like, oh, actually, you know what, I changed my mind. That's actually better for this reason or that reason. But a lot of people have trouble overcoming their ego where it's like, no, I'm not gonna change my mind. I'm not gonna concede to your beliefs, I'm right, no matter what. Even if you like present them a good logical argument for why something might be wrong. You think that being a public figure establishes some sort of pseudo personal relationship with your followers? Like they know more about you than you them probably. So if you say something on Twitter as a public figure, they're more likely to react super negatively to you when they don't agree with you. Um, I think it might, okay. They know you personally, so are, are you asking because they have, they know so much about you, then if you say something that they don't like, they're going to be upset about it. Honestly, that might be like 50-50 because some people who begin to, to know you more and like you will be able to, they'll have more respect for you, right? So they'll give your ideas more of a chance sometimes. However, uh, public figures have just as many fans as they have haters, usually, right? Usually, okay, not always, all right. But they have a lot of haters, too, so it's kind of like 50-50. I think your true fans are, will support your ideas and accept differences in opinions, even if they disagree. Or they'll show that basic respect, but honestly, it just depends on the type of person. Everybody's different with that, I think. Dude, this... This dinosaur- Oh my god! I almost got ran over. Dinosaur is blending in. Alright. Oh no. Uh, what's going on here? Hmm. I feel like you honestly could do a podcast. Not that you're not a great gamer. It's just you actually have a personality to go with it. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Ah, dang it. Almost got him. We're gonna go get him. Honestly, a podcast could be good. I should try to do that. I would have to... Wait. Those shots seem really delayed. I would like... I would enjoy doing a podcast, I think. If I could find good guests. A good platform on YouTube. Not really. My YouTube is really trash dead. It's my YouTube is not good. I need to delete my YouTube and make a new one or something. YouTube is way better for discovery. I need to think of some creative videos to do because you t the potential for discovery on YouTube is far greater than it is on Twitch. 
And PUBG's just a dead game, so... I missed the window. If only I had the quality that I have now, two years ago. <laughs> oh, crap. I think these are just bots. What's going on here? There's just a full bot lobby. I'm gonna just drive around. So I'm gonna run into the real solo squad team right here. Or the four-man squad. It's just really late. Wait, it's only 11. What are people playing if they're not playing squads? Do they play ranked? Hmm. Can you play other games? Uh, yes. I'm good at every game that I play. I can play other games. Sorry about the essay questions. That tree had me thinking a bit about a lot of interactions I've seen on social media. Friendship destroyed over some tri pretty trivial, trivial things. Yeah, that's happened to me, too. It's really sad. That's why I tweeted it. You don't have to apologize. I like, um, I like good questions. Good questions are fun. Dark Souls. I love Dark Souls. Sounds like that ego you're speaking about. Not really. It's literally a fact that I'm good at every game I try. Basically. Is it a uh, big ego or is it legit confidence based off of experiences? <laughs> 1v1 me, kid. Wait. Who are they shooting? Okay, that's not a bot. That guy was ADing. Uh... You think the rest of his team is here? What do you want me in cooking chicken thighs? Oh my gosh. I want chicken thighs. I want a chicken thigh sandwich again. Did they both die? Where do you draw the line between ego and confidence? When you start bragging, uh, where do you draw the line between ego and confidence? I don't know, when you start coming off as an asshole, you should check your ego, probably. You know? But how do you- how do you know when you're coming off as an asshole? Hmm. When you can't back up what you're saying, <laughs> yeah. When you're just talking about yourself, but... Wait. Nobody's looking at me. Oh no. I'm out of bullets. I forgot to reload. Oops. The idea of you is bigger than what you are in reality. Yeah, your idea of yourself is bigger than reality. That's when your ego needs to be checked a little bit. Hmm. So you want to like, maybe not your idea. Like you, you want to have confidence. Confidence is good, but you don't want to be, you don't want to have blind confidence where you don't know what you're capable of to an extent where it is negatively affecting you. Oh, we have to go really far. I feel like there's too many bots in this lobby. It's not even that late. I thought people play more. Good at everything I play. Isn't that kind of egotistical? No, because it's 
Because it's a fact. But you could interpret it as egotistical if you'd like. If you'd like to. Though. <laughs> Where's everyone? Yeah, it can definitely come off as egotistical, sure. But... Okay, that's an arm, I think. That was dangerous. But like, when I'm in my own room, like... Chilling and joking around with people who watch me and... Most of them who are active chatters are friends, like, I think it's okay to, to joke. Sometimes. Oh, I keep moving too soon, I'm trying not to get one-tapped. Oh, I have to move to them, this is actually really bad. Okay, hold on. Three buzz. I need to headshot them. I don't have that many bullets left either. Wait, where did the other guy go? Okay, they both went that way. Whew. All right. Got him. We got him. <sighs> Did not expect both of them that way. I was doing all those shots while moving and crouching. Like being super paranoid about getting headshot by the sniper. Made me miss more though. <laughs> 